Hello, in this YouTube podcast, we're going to show you how to use Mathematica to build a protein data calculator. What we want to be able to do with this calculator is to uh, enter in the abbreviation for some protein and have Mathematica find a variety of uh, pieces of information about that particular protein. So we're going to start out, we're just going to build some, some labels here. I'm going to call this protein data calculator. I'm using the section heading for this, by the way. And I'm going to put a couple of subsections in here. So, for example, the abbreviation of the protein. And this is information that you have to have found from some other source. As a variable, I'm going to call that protein. And in this case, as the example, I'm going to be searching for the protein myoglobin, which has the protein abbreviation MB. And I'm going to suppress that because we don't need to uh, have that repeated to us. Okay? And what I want to know is what available properties are there available to know about this particular protein. And in Mathematica, I'm going to use the protein data command which is a built-in function and what I want to do is I want to find out what are some of the properties that I can obtain about this particular uh, protein. So I'm going to go ahead and evaluate my notebook here and what you should see here is a list of all of the different things that are available to me to uh, learn about this particular protein. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to generate, let me get another section, subsection heading here. I'm going to generate a, a data table, and your data table can be as detailed as you want. I'm going to use the grid command here, and now I'm going to go ahead and insert a table matrix here, and I'm going to have six rows by two columns. You could have less, you could have more, and I'm going to say OK there. And once this table is built, I want to put a nice frame around it, so I'm going to do a frame all. And what I'm going to start doing now in this data table is putting in some of the things that I would like to know about this particular protein. So I want to know the name. I want to know the gene that's responsible for that particular protein. I want to know, basically I'm looking at the properties list above me. I want to know what some of the molecular functions are. I would like to know what some of the biological process, processes are. Maybe I would like to know what some of the cellular components might be. And again, not all of these would be things that you, you might know. Um, I'd like to see if there's one available, a molecular plot. Now, I'm sort of out of room here, so I'm going to hold down the control key and hit the the, question, the uh, comma. Oops, wrong one. Uh, how about if I do the, I'm going to get in that last cell, control, enter, or return. I'm going to give myself a couple more uh, rows here. What else might I want to know? I want might want to know in, I might want to know the primary sequence. which is a, a string of all the amino acids that are used to make this protein. I might want to know um, what's known as the primary PDB ID number. We'll talk about that in various other places. Uh, I might want to know what the memberships are, meaning this is some of the information about where this protein belongs. And maybe this is uh, similar. I want to see maybe a, a list of the PDB ID numbers. Okay, so these are all the things that I want. Basically, I was just looking at the properties list above to do that. Okay, the way we're going to do this now is we're going to do protein data, and we want to find our protein that we've named up above. And now I'm just going to use the the list above to put in what I want. I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it everywhere so I don't have to do quite as much typing. And what I'm going to do now is simply go and change all these things following, if I could type, following all of the uh, property identifiers above. So 
I want molecular functions. Okay. I want cellular components. Okay. And so on and so from so on from there. Um, I've already I've already done this before, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what what mine looks like there. So what you see here. So for example, if I do if I evaluate this notebook, I think I have, let's put MB in there and evaluate this notebook. What I get is I get the name of the protein is myoglobin, the gene that it comes from is MB, and now I know something about its molecular functions, biological processes, cellular components, so on and so forth. There's my primary sequence, uh, there's my ID numbers, my PDB ID numbers, Here's something about memberships, and this podcast is not designed to teach you what these things mean. And here's a, a PDB ID list. So this is the kind of thing that I get. I can go in here and I can change the name of the protein, and I can evaluate the whole notebook, and it'll um, give me whatever information I might have. What you should notice here, by the way, is there is some missing data. There is some, some data that, that's just not there. So there are some other ways to get that data from Mathematica. I'm going to do another sub subsection here. Okay. And I'm going to call this section PDB import data. So we can import data from the protein data bank. And to do that, we need to know a PDB ID number. And notice up there, um, I did was able to get that ID number from Mathematica. So I'm going to use that here. And if I can't get it from Mathematica, then I just have to get it from somewhere else. And I'm going to get PDB ID list. And I want the first one. I'm going to assume the first one in the list is, is the one I want. Okay, I'm going to assume that's the one I want. All right, and what I need to do now is I need to create a URL, which is a uh, web address, and I'm going to use the string join command. And what I'm going to do is I have to type in this long structure here: HTTP colon slash slash www.rcsb.org. That's the protein data bank slash PDB slash download slash download file notice file is capitalized there dot do question mark this is a, a search query string file format equals PDB ampersand compression equals no and again once you do this once ampersand Okay, structure ID equals, and I'm going to end quotes there. And what I'm going to put here as my string is PDB ID, and I'm going to close that. So what that's going to do is that's going to uh, generate a web address for me that's based on the PDB ID number that I get above. Okay, at this point what I want to do is... Actually, let me make this a new cell. I'm going to import the URL. And what I want to know about that is I want the PDB. And I'm going to say image size hyphen greater than side medium. And I can import. There's lots of things I can find out about here. URL. PDB. For example, I can find out what the title of this particular data set might be. Actually, I don't need to do that there. Okay, so let's assume I've got this all set. Let me evaluate my notebook and see how I do. Okay, so what it did there is it imported, it has the PDB ID number is 2MM1. I should probably uh, 
Okay. That's okay. So there's 2mm1. I would have gotten that above. I have my URL here where I have this long string that is generated for me. And now what it has found for me, it's found the actual, um, it, it, Mathematica was not able to find the molecule plot here, okay, excuse me, molecule plot, but uh, by importing the PDB data, I was able to find the, the 3D structure of that molecule, and I was able to get the title of this particular, uh, particular protein. So now what I can do is I can go back, let's change windows here, and I'll go show you my completed one. So here's a completed one. And if I go down here, you can see that I get all of the relevant information. I got that 2MM1 number from protein data PDB ID list above here. It's interesting that it doesn't give me any primary PDB IDs, but it does give me a list here and I just captured the first one. So I can put in there basically any, any uh, protein I want. For example, if I have HBB, that's a hemoglobin. I evaluate the entire notebook. It gives me all of the relevant information. Notice that the, the 3D plot is missing here, but down here below, if I do a straight import from the protein data bank, I do get a, uh, a 3D image of what the protein looks like. I hope this helps and we'll see you online.